All right, this video is gonna be covering the last four problems of the review packet, starting on number 28. So here we're gonna be graphing. So the first problem here says y is equal to two. Now remember, this is one of our special cases. When y is equal to a number, that's our acronym, HOI. Y is equal to a number, it has a slope of zero, and it is a horizontal line. So horizontal line at two. So I'm gonna go up on the y-axis to two, and I'm gonna draw a horizontal line at two, okay? So that's how you would graph that one. The next one is our other special case. This is x equals a number, and so that is bucks. x equals a number. It has an undefined slope, and it is a vertical line at negative five. So I'm gonna go on the x-axis to negative five, which is here, and I'm gonna draw a vertical line through that point. Okay, so these are our two special cases, horizontal line, vertical line. Now the next problem here says f of x is equal to negative 3 fourths x plus 6. Now I just want you to, to remind you that f of x is just a fancy way of saying y. So this is really just saying y is equal to negative 3 fourths x plus 6. So this is actually in slope intercept form. So our slope is negative 3 fourths and our y intercept is 6. So when we graph this, we wanna graph our y-intercept first. So I'm gonna go on the y-axis to positive six, and I'm gonna plot a point. And then I'm gonna go from that point with my slope. So my slope is negative three-fourths, which in words means down three, right four. So starting at my y-intercept, I'm gonna go down three, right four, and plot a point. And then again, I'll go down three, right four, and plot a point. And so then I'll use my straight edge to connect those points. Okay, and make sure you extend beyond the points and include arrowheads as well. Now, remember a quick way to double check yourself, the slope was negative, which means it should be going down, which our graph is. So that's just a quick way to double check that your graph is going in the correct direction. Okay, the last one here is again in that standard form um, like we did in the last video. So there's two options here. You can find the X and Y intercepts like I did in the last video, or you can convert it to be in Y equals MX plus B form. I think I'm gonna go with the second option and convert it into Y equals MX plus B. So that means I wanna solve for Y. So to do so, I'm gonna add five X to both sides. Six Y is equal to five X plus 12. I divide both sides by six. Now remember, when I divide by six here, I'm dividing each piece on top by six. So five divided by six is just five sixths. 12 divided by six is two. So I've rewritten this equation from standard form to slope intercept form, and now I can graph this. The slope is five sixths, and the y-intercept is two. So I'm gonna start at my y-intercept. I'm gonna go on the y-axis to two and plot a point. And then my slope of five, six means up five, right six. So starting from this y-intercept, I'm gonna go up five, one, two, three, four, five, and then over six. And plot a point. Now, I like to plot three points. And if you notice, if I try and go up five and over six, I'll go off the graph. So I'm gonna go back to my original y-intercept and instead of going up and right, I'm gonna go down and left. So I'm gonna go down five and left six and plot a point there, okay? Once I have my three points, I'm gonna use my straight edge to connect them, extending beyond the points and including arrowheads. Okay, so again, this is one option or you could find the X and Y intercepts.